So in this example, we need to find Y. So again, remember like I said, always label according to your angle of reference. This, by labeling, it tells me which ratio I'm gonna use. So this is my angle of reference. So according to this angle, Y is adjacent, and six is opposite. So which ratio uses adjacent and opposite? That's tangent. Tangent is equal to opposite over adjacent. If you're still struggling with your ratios, write them up at the top every time. So, toa. Okay, so now we're gonna set it up. So it's always gonna go tangent followed by your angle measure. So tangent 22 is equal to opposite over adjacent. Now, again, we need to get y by itself. So, to undo division, we use multiplication. But the problem is, y is in the denominator. And when we multiply both sides, we always multiply by the denominator. So, I'm going to times both sides by y. And so, what that's doing is that that is putting y over there with the tangent. So, I have y times tangent 22 is equal to 6. So y is still not by itself. So now, how do we undo multiplication? We use division. So now we're gonna divide both sides by tangent 22. And so we're gonna type into our calculator for y, six divided by tangent 22. So 6 divided by tangent 22, and now we know that y is approximately 14.85 units long.